welcome back to Dribble Garage. So today I'm going to finally get into this racing more and find out what actually happened to the engine. So if you watched my last video uh, with this mower actually on Canada Day, uh, this thing was the fastest mower there. Unfortunately, uh, the way the uh, Briggs & Stratton engine oils itself, uh, the RPM I was turning was too much and I blew up the engine. So uh, when I got back, I parked it and it has been parked ever since. Through the winter, outside, in the rain, in the elements. Uh, it's time to give this thing some love, but more importantly, dig into this engine and see what kind of carnage there is inside. I, I suspect both connecting rods are broken, uh, but there are no holes in the block. Uh, so anyway, let's, uh, let's get this engine out of this thing. Uh, I guess I'll probably put it up on a table, tear it down, and see what the hell I did to this thing. Okay, I'm not going to do on video actually removing the engine. I'll do the actual tear down of the motor itself. But uh, yeah, I just, uh, you know, this thing was the best looking mower there. It's filthy dirty, it's kind of a shame. One thing that's interesting, my, um, my LED lights that I have in the front for uh, my little police package, one of the lights, I guess the wire harness was bouncing when I was jumping this thing and hitting all the bumps, I actually pulled the wires out. So I might go with a different style, a brighter style of LEDs. These were cool and everything, but in the daylight, uh, they weren't that bright. I want them really bright. And I'll have to make sure that I uh, attach the wires a little more solid so they don't tear out. But, uh, okay, let's get the engine out of this thing. All right, things are coming along. Everything's disconnected except for the fuel line. And then I can uh, lift it out. But uh, I thought I would show the oil coming out. It is... I did drain it before, but you can see there is chunks of color in the oil as it's dripping out which is not good. What I expected, it's not really silver paint, but uh, there's definitely some color in there. Oh yeah, and the exhaust, I gotta get the exhaust unbolted. All right, this should come out as long as I can slip that exhaust off there. Pretty much stuck on there, I think. Alright, so I got this up on the table here, so we'll just quickly pop this engine apart. No jam and screwdrivers in hands. I'm not going to do that again. Still got the mark in my hand where I broke my screwdriver into it. That was not very fun. Ooh, there's a very nasty looking spider in there. Yuck. I'll just leave him be for now. I think it'll be very interesting to take this window up here. Crankcase uh, window or cover, whatever you want to call it. I'll pop this sucker out next. I heard pieces flying around inside. All right. Ew. <laughs> Holy crap. There's some connecting rod material. Get a rag here. Wow. Another piece. Holy crap. Another piece. There's another bolt laying in there. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. I'm amazed the block didn't get uh, blown apart. Anyway, next thing I do, uh, let's pop the head off. You're gonna get another rag. Let's 
So I can see if I can push this piston out. Oh, yeah. Wow, the cylinders are actually, I thought the, uh, the, the, the engine was seizing up on me. Oh, it even brought, broke the skirt off. But uh, yeah, there is some pretty bad scoring on the, on the piston. You can see that there. Yeah, there's some bad scoring on there. It was, it did seize up on me when it was hot. So let's pop this other head off and get this other piston out. This piston's got a little worse scoring. Again, that skirt, same skirt is broken off. Okay. The actual cylinders are really good. That is a snapped, snapped lifter. Cam follower, that actually snapped. How the heck did that happen? Oh, there's pieces of crap everywhere in here. Wow. Okay, the next thing I think I'll do is uh, take the, flip it over here. I'll flip the uh, case off. So the flinger for the oil is still intact. Oh my God, I'll have to get the camera down here and show you the inside of here. That's pretty gross. Man, to say those connecting rods grenaded is an understatement. Those are just exploded. I think I'm actually gonna have to take this flywheel off. A bit of a pain, but it's camshaft. A little bit of pretty heavy wear on the tops of the lobes. I'm sure I was uh, floating the valves pretty much in this thing. To get this uh, flywheel off. All right, so I tried to piece these back together at least to make it look kind of what they were like. And yeah, you can see looks like this one was together like that this one is just completely polarized and these are more pieces inside some of these are the skirt these are part of the piston skirts you can see where the the piston came up like this and basically snap or the connecting rod sorry came up like that and snapped the skirt off both both pistons the skirt just got snapped right off I've never seen connecting rods shatter as bad as this before. I mean, they are cast rods. Usually they snap, but never explode like that. That's crazy. <clears throat> and the um, and this is the the lifter that just snapped off. I don't know why that would have happened. Something must have got in the way. A piece of connecting rod. And then if you look at the yeah, you can see right there. There's some chunkies. Looks like I was floating valves pretty good and it was hammering the, the top of the lobes. All right, looking at the crank, 
Not too bad, that one. It's a little bit bad. This one is pretty chewed up. The case, uh, where is it? Up here. The case took a serious hit up there. Uh, that uh, damaged the casting a little bit, although it didn't go through. And looks like some chunks hit down there. But yeah, this engine <coughs> is done. Oh, and uh, this is down inside the half of the, the lower half of the crankcase. It's just little chunkies of like, yeah, I'm telling you, this thing, it's, it did not rattle long. I had a little bit of a rattle for all of about five seconds. And then it was just catastrophic internal engine failure. Just right now, stop dead. So yeah, I am looking for a new motor for my mower. Okay, so there you go. Uh, I got a new piston or a pair of pistons actually for my wall of shame. Um, this engine is done for, so I need to find myself a new engine with a better oiling system uh, than the Briggs and Stratton for my next mower race. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a, a quick one to show the carnage from that engine explosion inside. Uh, that is wicked. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, but also, I just want to let you know that on April the 20th at 10 a.m. Standard uh, Pacific Standard Time, uh, we're going to be doing a first dry run of Turnbull Garage podcast. Uh, it's probably going to be a bit clunky. We're going to the studio. <coughs> We're going to try and get the video set up and simulcast it from the, uh, the studio to my YouTube channel. Uh, so hopefully it works. Maybe it won't, but we're going to give it a try. Again, that's the 20th. That's a Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to text in, call in. We're going to have the phone number and everything there. Actually, I'll probably put it in my description below if you want to phone in. i got to find out what the number is going to be. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, I also want to let you know that on April the 24th, is my track day at Area 27 in Oliver, Bruce, Oliver BC. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to that big time. The car is ready to go. I've just got to get all my tools and stuff packed into the car and hit the ferry and off to the in interior of BC and uh, hit the racetrack. So that's going to be epic. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thoughts and comments down below. And uh, hey, I hope to hear you on uh, calling in or texting in on Turnbull Garage Podcast. So thanks a lot and have yourself a great day.